There's a brand new statue that has been added as official Final Fantasy XIV merchandise, and you know what that means? It's drama time! <laughs> I wish I was joking. Long story short, Final Fantasy XIV has had Zodiac and Hydlin as two major characters for the past decade, and so they did a statue of the two characters to commemorate the entire kind of like decade, like a beautiful homage to it. But the problem is, this statue comes with an emote, or rather, a lot of people would put it, and this has been said for many years now because this is a recurring thing that happens, that you are buying the emote that comes with a statue and that it's going to be like a $330 emote with a statue. Actually, I stand corrected, it is going to be a $360 emote with the statue included. But what really, really, really does cause a lot of fire to be lit under people's behinds is that it says that this item will be distributed to a single character of your choice on a selected service account. Listen, I'm not narcissistic enough to think that the developers even know that my channel exists or that I exist in any capacity. I'm not that narcissistic. But if I had to say something to them, I think it would be a incredibly easy win for them in this category to say, hey, you know what, instead of making it one character per account for this statue emote, we're going to make it account wide because realistically like guys guys it's it's like over $500 Canadian and you can't make it account wide come on <laughs> no one's going to buy multiple of these statues say say someone has and this is a very common thing for a lot of people i mean maybe it's not the majority of players the majority of players play one character but i know a lot of people that have a character on NA some that have a character on EU, and uh, some that have it on JP servers, like especially like Australians, uh, some of them have a lot of characters everywhere. And if we look at the larger tapestry of things, fact is, we have an inversion of the yield curve going in North America, and I lump Canada into that too, because you know Canada falls to USA pretty closely on most things like that. So. We're factually going into an economic recession. There are people who are losing their jobs. The job market is a pile of dung. Um, there is a whole lot of economic stressors going on that I'm not going to actually like sink my teeth into in this video because you know, that's far outside of the purview of this channel and I'm not gonna go into there. The fact is people are financially strapped right now. And so it is little, uh, there's a phrase that's not coming to mind, but you know what I'm trying to get at. It's a little, Insulting is not the word I'm looking at choosing here, but it's a little painful for some people to see this. Like one thing that maybe I should frame it as is that a lot of people use this game as escapism. Even I've used it in the past as escapism from some dark trauma like stuff that I'm not going to bring up here like non-consensual blah blah blah. Uh, it really helped me get over that and so it's like a lot of escapism for a lot of people is getting away from like the economic status of like what is going on in their life. It's like a place for them to rest and relax and so shoving in an emote that a lot of people are going to immediately look at and be like oh that person literally paid like $500 Canadian for that statue or like 360 USD for that. It's going to be like oh my god that's crazy and it Oh, it almost in a way breaks the immersion in that way because it's like, oh, great. Well, that person obviously spent a lot of money, which I'm going to say as someone who's a little older now, <laughs> although I, maybe I shouldn't say that because everyone can tell from my voice. Usually in my experience, respectfully, the people who are wearing the Gucci, the people who are wearing the Supreme, the people who are wearing the Louis Vuitton guys are usually not the people that they're trying to portray themselves as by wearing them. In my experience in real life, it's usually the people who are walking into the bank with like a hat on, their hair grummy and like everything and you, you know, I digress. But it is seeing this emote going to absolutely break immersion for some people, especially given that we're in 2024 and we're going to see some stuff fall down and it ain't even November yet. <laughs> now people are going to ask my opinion on this is should the emote be sold on its own? My opinion is yes. That is my honest opinion. I think that the more people that have accessibility to something, the better. And that's something that I have always stood for on my channel. Like if you check back years and years to even some of my first content, all of my stuff was all about accessibility. I don't like paywalls. I don't like hiding information. I don't like all of these like paid tutorial things, which I understand like a teacher needs to make money, but at the same point of time, just, and plus I'm in software. So guys, you know where I'm coming from with this, that that's been our general mantra is like, open source, 
course. Uh, sh let everyone use your framework. It's just like, I don't need to pay a thousand dollars a month to use a React framework. Like, it, yeah, you could get a paid IDE. Like, there's some IDEs. Uh, it, basically, for those who aren't familiar, it's like a, a glorified text editor with a lot of functionality. So, but, like, there are free ones like Visual Studio Code, which is absolutely m remarkable. But, like, that's my background, and so, like, I'm very much a fan of everything should be as accessible and open as possible. Although, obviously, we are talking in this instance about a business, and so me looking at this does it make sense to just give everyone the emote in a happy world? I think so. Anyone who actually completed Endwalker gives them an emote, but you know what? They There has been copious momentous amounts of content just from Endwalker, so I can't even say that that makes sense because we've already gotten Endwalker rewards for doing Endwalker in-game. So it being a business, it obviously needing to generate revenue because the investors definitely need to get growth and don't like even stagnancy and definitely don't like decreased revenue. Um, it makes sense for them to sell it for money, but I think that the emote should be sold separately. I think that that would make it a revenue generator. I think it would make it a lot more accessible. And honestly, just given the current state of things, I think it might even boost like this numbers. Like obviously I don't work out the math. Like there might be an element that the developers are really relying on about like FOMO and like prestige. Even though it's like, is it really prestigious to spend $500 or whatever Canadian on like a statue just for an emote in game when you actually can't afford it. Guys, I'm not going to dive into the psychology of that, but point is, I think that for the betterment of the player base and just like how people feel in immersion, I think it would probably be better if it was like even just a $20 emote, which is like pretty premium price for a emote if you think about it. But I digress. There's a scoop on it and I'm cutting this video off. I know people are going to be like, you should make it eight minutes, 10 minutes or whatever. No. <laughs> Take care, everyone. I'm going to come at you with some new content this weekend. I am focused on my projects again. So Final Fantasy XIV is full steam ahead. And yeah. Take care, everyone. I hope that you have a lovely Friday and that you have a safe weekend.